for now we move on to one of our stories uh, that we have been following for you during the day which is two politicians from the volatile Baringo region who have been shot dead the Tiati constituency parliamentary aspirant Pepe Kitamba and Loyamorok a member of the county assembly Kibet Cherite were shot dead today at half past midnight at a nightclub our Sylvia Chibet has more details at the dead of the night, two gunmen hidden by the blanket of darkness and the masks on their faces, armed with an AK-47 rifle and a machete, suddenly appeared at the T-junction bar and restaurant in Marigat. The deceased, Pepe Kitamba and Kibet Cherete, were both relatives of Daniel Lokitar. Pepe, who had driven alongside Musa Kisur, his employee, joined them at the bar. My manager is Petro Halva. He is here in the house. 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 This place is not safe for you to stay. So he is here in the house. This place is not safe for all of us here. What is wrong? The whole place is Akuna Mutu. What is wrong with the Kasabuwa watu na Jahaba? Kidogo tu hivi, wakati tumenawa tu, tumemaliza kukula, chakula ya jioni. Hapo tukasikia marisasi, tukaanza kushambuliwa. Hatujui ni nani, tukapigwa risasi hapo, tukaanza kulala chini ya meza. And the assailants came selectively, attacked only two, shot them fatally, killed them. They did not touch the others, the other five. So that tells you that it was properly planned. And whoever was doing it knew what he was doing and knew his target very well. The two died on the spot and they had something in common. They were both politicians. One is a sitting MCA. Uh, the other victim is an engineer by profession. And we are also told that he was an aspirant for a parliamentary seat within Baringo County. At the constituency, it is said, he was hoping to oust Azman Kamama, the current member of parliament, who also chairs the National Assembly Committee on Security. Pepe's ambitions alongside his friend ended with their cold blood murder. When you look at the circumstances under which it has occurred, you know that indeed there was a premeditation. Somebody planned. This is not an ambush. After putting them down, the assassins went ahead to vandalize the vehicles of the deceased. The vehicle of the MCA was set ablaze. The other aspirants' rear windscreen was shattered. Their murder has left in its wake shock and tension in the area. Police now urging residents to remain calm as investigations commence. We are following crucial leads. Question begs, was their murder a result of political or business rivalry? Sylvie Chibet, Citizen Live at One.